हे गाइज क्या हाल चाल और आप सबका स्वागत है मेरे चैनल पे जिसका नाम है गेमर भारत और मेरा नाम है वासु और आइए शुरू करते हैं साइबर पंक का नया एपिसोड और भाई गेम प्ले जो है भाई पूरा रोबोटिक्स से भरा हुआ है जो इसमें आप लोगों का जो रोज़मर्रा के काम जो होते हैं उसमें भी रोबोटिक्स का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है और भाई ये एक जो सिटी है नाइट सिटी उसमें भाई अलग अलग तरह के गैंग्स हैं जो भाई रोबोटिक्स के सहारे अपना सारा काम करवाती है और भाई एक दूसरे को गैंग को मार के भाई अपना डोमिनेंट करना चाहती है सिटी पर तो भाई बहुत ही अच्छा गेम प्ले है बहुत ही अच्छा गेम प्ले है आप लोग देखोगे तो इन्जॉय करोगे और भाई इसमें रोबोटिक्स का काफ़ी यूज़ किया गया है और जो फ्यूचर वेपन हैं किस तरह से क्या करना है काफी कुछ है इस गेम में तो भाई शुरू करते हैं साइबर पंक का ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड और भाई इस गेम में कमेंट्री करने के लिए मेरे पास कुछ है नहीं बस खाली मैंने स्टोरी लाइन आपको बता दी कि भाई रोबोटिक से भरा हुआ गेम है हैकिंग से भरा हुआ गेम है तो भाई इंजॉय करिए गेम को और ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर कीजिएगा और भाई सब्सक्राइब कर देना भाई कोई चैनल पर नया है तो लाइक भी कर देना शेयर भी कर देना तो भाई आइए शुरू करते हैं नया एपिसोड साइबर पंक का और पूरी की पूरी प्ले आपको इसमें देखने को मिलेगी आज है फर्स्ट एपिसोड तो भाई इसी के साथ साथ कंटिन्यू करेंगे और भाई चैनल पर मजा आने लगेगा आप लोगों को काफ़ी सारे गेम्स में लेके आया हूँ तो भाई एंजॉय करते रहिएगा चैनल को लाइक करते रहिएगा अपने भाई को सपोर्ट करते रहिएगा और कैसे भी करके हज़ार सब्सक्राइबर तक पहुंचा दो तो भाई ज़्यादा देरी ना करते हो आज शुरू करते हैं साइबर पंक का पहला एपिसोड और एंजॉय कर दिए करिएगा तो लाइक जरूर करिएगा तो भाई शुरू करते हैं yeah, Anyway, what's going on? Is there a problem? <clears throat> we had a leak. My boss called. Drag me in because we had to intervene. Everyone in Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in our soccer counter intel, you're always fucked. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. Buena suerte. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. You hurry up. Saburo Arasaka enlisted as a pilot in the Nippon Kaigu, the Japanese Imperial Navy. By the age of 23, he had already achieved the rank of lieutenant. With 20 confirmed air military and three of our Mr. Jenkins asked. Hey V. He's in his. It's been ages. It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall, East Coast. Remember? I didn't know you were in Night City. How have you been? Ah, uh, you know how it is. A week ago, I was still in Cape Town. I heard you're in Counter Intel. Must have a shit show on your hands right now after Frankfurt. Jenkins is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know about it? Arming local conflicts in Africa. I didn't know that was you. It was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed fishing boats. Same old circus, but hey, that's how wars are won. And you? Who do you work under? Abernathy. She's really good. Came up with the whole Cape Town ploy on her own. Abernathy, the bitch who burned my boss in the promotion to Spec Ops Director. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah, they do indeed. What's everyone say about Jenkins? That he's effective, like any psychopath. 
Apparently, he's gone a little crazier lately. Hey, he's in a tough spot. The director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. Listen, sorry, uh, in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. Emergency protocols active. System security confirmed. Please enter the antechamber. Visitor authorization granted. Are you online? Have a seat, V. Be right with you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the Sea of Clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. I hate that bitch. I always have. Always, meaning how long? Before Night City, we worked on an assignment in Osaka. Two years of subterfuge. She spent them digging a trap for me. When she became director of Spec Ops. And that's when she finally shoved me in it. And now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try it. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <sighs> Effective. What would you do in my position? You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doormat. You're right. Smack her once, but hard. She'll respect you. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Take this. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates. Driver, chief of security, lover. Lover's husband. Everything. Use it, and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. You said it. I need to defend myself. What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Use this money only. Find the right people for the job, no corporate affiliation. And for the core task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Jenkins, Night City Counter Intel. I have those reports you asked for? I don't have the time to send them my way. AV, hey, you alive? How's things in the Viper, B? 
Need your help, Jack. Got some biz. Uh, always biz with you, Mano. You in some trouble? Not yet. Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. First Frankfurt. That kind of sounds like a yes. Uh, Meet me at Lizzie's. Damn long Be day. there in an hour. I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me. Quick version. Our agent at Biotechnica suspects they might be on to him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point? They're clean. Like, we run orphanages clean. Bleach server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Xfil or let him keep looking? Keep him there digging. We invested way too much getting him that deep to back out now. You sure? Do I really need to repeat myself? Oh, of course not. Nothing to add. Tell your people to be careful. I'll be searching for Did you see the report on the vote? Lunar bases. I mean, shit. The world's going to tear us apart when the word gets around. Access granted. your destination destination Lizzie's bar noted on route this is m54 news broadcasting with a breaking story for you a conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in a neural stabilization system Five European Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still looking into what might have caused this shocking incident. The Council members were all wearing Biotechnica-provided devices. The Corporation's representatives have, as yet, refused to comment. Our reporter is on the scene. We'll have updates on developments as they come to light. Stay with M54 News for the latest. Yes? We weren't scheduled to connect till the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Is everything in order?
I'm dealing with a temporary nuisance. Nothing you should worry about. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. Them psycho suit. This looked like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Seems trouble wants in. Oh, and why is this happening? Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking, as long as you don't get flatlined. Yeah, I know how it is. I can't complain, but we ain't here to shoot the shit about me. Let me hear about this problem of yours. Data shard. Take it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Won't come cheap. It'll have to be done on the sly. No trail. Hard eddies only. Got the money. Full crew job for sure. Techie. Maybe two. A runner with a gold-plated brain and a driver with wheels from hell. Not to mention, the solo. Huh. The piece I'm missing. That what you need from me? My trigger finger to zero this lady? Delicate situation, I know. That's why I need somebody I can trust. This ain't no delicate situation, hermano. It's a hit job, plain and simple. You know how Arasaka operates. Or, okay, maybe you don't. This isn't a professional request I can refuse. But I can. And I am. And you should too. Now, what do you say we liquor up and talk life? Gracias, mamita. Double tequila with grenadine and lime. Nothing better for drowning nerves. To this. Was that a toast? What the hell does that even mean? You raise a glass to your mama, your hermana, to the mamacita you'll meet at the bar, but this doesn't say a damn thing. To this. This job and all the rest of that corpo bullshit, you know what it is? Un pacto con el diablo. Been saying it all along. Sold your soul to those Arasaka fuckers. Today, 
They got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. Those are the rules, Jack. You wanna be top? You gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, but you're not on top. Saburo Arasaka is. And you're the pendejo who keeps him there. Work for yourself, live for yourself. That's the only way. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm still well within their reach. You'll always be within reach. Always re Hey, you lost? Got a problem? V, is that right? You're from Arasaka HQ. Is there a problem? Are you here about Frankfurt? We're here for you. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. Name and department again? Didn't quite catch it first time around. Gah, fuck! How you feeling? Pretty sharp dive, huh? Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. In two minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination procedures. How the hell did you find out? That is not your concern. The data, now. Information's on the shard. Smart choice. <sighs> we done? With the formalities? Yes. But I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding her of a piece of rot like you. Stand up. You're coming with us. Come on, move By it. Us, man. I think you fellows might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body was your style, let alone a healthy option. Yeah, claro. Is that a threat? Well, you start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? Before you know it, somebody might die today. We have what we came for. It'll do for now. Dodged one there. V, how you feel? You all right? Like, like shit. My throat's like sandpaper. I'm not sure I can breathe. It's like when my little primito was ditching drugs. Nasty chills, trembling hands, cold sweat and dry even. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, hey, should I get you to a ripper? Or, I guess, maybe trauma team's on its way. Give me a minute, get my shit together. That, that'd be that, Jack. Just lost control of my life, completely. I'd say you got it back. You couldn't say no to him. So they said it to you. This is a turn for the better. You'll see. Besides, you haven't lost everything. About to say I still have a friend? That's sweet. <laughs> no, dumbass. You still got that wad for the hit job, don't you? Probably some fat-ass chunk of cha-ching. Just right for a new start. That's right, fool. Buckle up. Hey, you hearing all right? Don't look so high. V! V! Hey, hermano. Uh, your new life, it starts now. And we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. 
but only half these gonks will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. NC's legends. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The City of Dreams. chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, I got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to, uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military-grade shit here. How'd you get it? T-Bug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her, uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Sure. Why the hell not? So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Honest. Fingers crossed it's you? not too late. Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry, try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Nina, eyes up. And the hell's I hid?
your toes. Four bodies incoming. They're almost on you. Looks like you got him. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does not look good. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Teen Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. It's got much as hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, need to know what's going Jackie, on. Jackie, air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Hey, catch, Vato! I think. Holy shit, it worked! Fuera, cabron! Get her outside! Fuera, get her out! Terrace.
ground. Five steps back. Now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for Brennigan. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. You should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, Mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, man, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I knew it. Man, I'm gonna take it us. Hello. I don't like it. I want that you bit. Bit. Scars! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V! Shoot! Can't keep her steady. Hold tight, me. Mierda, perdón. Got you, assholes. V, aim for the driver. Chicago. Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home.
What does the lockdown do for the nerds? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. If you're giving me a chance, I'm waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel like it. What am I not nice? Um, always? I'm always never not nice. Ain't your average badges. It's Max Tech. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTech rolls in when things fly out of hand. Dunks out there though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. Thought they had it coming. Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jack. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Fuck. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. One Reverend Culver. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam.
Oh, V. You get any sleep? Nah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. So, dry, sun fills sweet, coming your way, hey, city. Regina Jones here. Sun, if you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. Uh, shit, come on! Oh, no, no, no. No one took the first thing as you this place. Oh, wait, you mean 14 no. a day? Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping, he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very neat. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Sweet little point marks waiting for its daddy. Purrs after every shot now. Let's have a look. Man of the 
hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a little of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, adios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You, die or something? you look pleased. Cause I am. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. 
The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. 
I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Not only... V, listen. I've got this you, delicate you matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <laughs> Respect. I already told you why. Exactly. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. Because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. 
corporal agent. What's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod. Claim to want to check our pro cred. To me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Boys versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. So he must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods when goes to the ground. Ground. Hasta luego.
Transport fuck-up's toxic for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. South. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! A fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep now. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Checks out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on. All corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I- Ugh. Him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? I need a bot. Flathead mob. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. That the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech? Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. Something goes wrong, I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. <laughs> nah. Know what, Stout? My offer just came off the table. 
Mistake. Big mistake. Stop, you bitch! You're done! You're fucking done! You and everyone under your thumb! You hear that, fella? Let me hear what you squared away. I know where I'm gonna strike before Good I for do a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me! Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one, I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer, stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks. And now they're, well, me. me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Whatever. Oh, and if another one of you pops up, I don't mind beating a third ass. You got a sharp tongue, no doubt about it. Let's see how that helps you when fists start flying. So, so can, we can we get, get started? started? Show me what you got.
And you? Had enough like your brother, or hungry for more? That ain't my brother. Oh, that's me. Jesus, what's so hard to understand? Here, your winnings. Good haul. Don't worry. There's always the next fight. Stop talking to yourself! Hey, sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out? Felt like I was fighting against four left hands. Fuck you! right now. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Huh, <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Just answer the damn question. You seem a little tense, Chumba. Go grab a box. Might take the edge off. Have fun, relax. Find me once your mood's improved. Serve you a drink then. It's all right, Mateo. Just waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first.
Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a whole Nothing's wrong. Like really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I'll I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki in Tokyo is still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him.
there's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Would you like anything else? Of course! I, uh, you can count on me, babe. It's a bit... Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, don't thank me. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back... I understand. Uh, years. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'll do whatever v, I can to fix this. this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. 
Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of... intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could've warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Got Give it a try. It. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You don't need to Take the register. How about you suck a bag of. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Con Pecky. Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisecond. Okay, can I...
Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Alright, B. Eyes open. Gotta find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. You look like a kind of fuck on me, are you? I said, no, that makes sense. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. We got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, they'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need to... How are things looking, Mr. V? No, no. El estabo that. Turns out everyone's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Oh, I'm insulting you? Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing's wrong. Nothing yet. Really? On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. Oh. To work then, Mr. V. My. What a sweet little thing. Going in or staying out? <laughs> 